Assalamu alaikum guys, how's it going? Welcome back to one more video on the Linux series. Uh, today we're going to be talking about IP tables. So uh, in short, IP tables is a command line uh, interface that helps us set our uh, rules for the uh, coming or uh, incoming or outcoming packets from our machine. So for example, we can filter uh, any request that, that is coming from a specific IP address to block it and like to reject it or uh, we can actually block access to some content on our sites or on our uh, server machine and yeah that's actually in short how it's uh, why it's used for and also right here i'm having uh, a uh, drumming right here that actually is going to help me explaining so the ip tables by default has some tables inside of it so the first one is the filter the second is net and the third is mangle so the filter table right here is responsible for filtering the incoming of the outcoming requests so the input chain has rules for the um, the incoming one and the output chain is for the outcoming one from our machine and the forward chain is when our machine is actually acting as a proxy and it's uh, forwarding requests uh, the net right here is actually uh, the same but it's actually responsible with the uh, net protocol which is the network address translation we're going to be going over uh, the net table in this video and the third one is actually mangled which is responsible for manipulating uh, values and the state of the incoming or outcoming requests uh, so in this video I'm going to be focusing on the mangled one and the uh, filter table right uh, so now let's actually get back to the terminal right here. Uh, first thing, I want to show you that I have the uh, Apache installed on my machine, so systemctl. You don't have to install Apache, but it's going to help me demonstrate the idea with working with IP tables. Okay, so status, status right here, and Apache 2. As you can see, it's up and running, and if I hit uh, dash 4, address so this is my uh, local IP address so if I open the browser knife right now and go to uh, just 192.168.0.13 I should see the default page of our Apache right so in this video I'm gonna actually try to block access to this page right here and also um, show some kind of uh, packet filtering okay so let's actually yeah, get started okay yeah okay so uh, the first thing I want to do before we actually start is actually check the version of the uh, firewall that we have because I'm using Ubuntu and the thing is um, as you can, see, you can see that the uh, utility firewall is installed and it's recommended to remove it or disable it when you're using the IP tables because it can cause conflicts right so because the kind of do the same thing so they also work with packets and they block and allow requests okay so I'm just going to be purging it so purge Purge uh, W and just gonna remove it. Cool. So now it's removed. And the second thing, I'm gonna be changing my user to the root user because uh, all the IPT tables command requires sudo. So instead of just typing sudo for each one, I'm just gonna change the user. Okay. Uh, so the, actually, the first thing I want to show you is actually the tables we have in the IP tables command. So first, you can specify the T flag to uh, choose the table. If you remember, we have only three tables, so the third to the net and the uh, mango. So first, let's start with the filter and use the capital L command to print the tables of this one. So as you can see right here, I have uh, one table added before, so we can actually uh, remove it real quick. So IP tables T, uh, you can now just specify the table, so filter. And remote with the D flag right here, and choose the, uh, the 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 room number. So by default, it's the first one, so it's one. So let's just remove it. And oh yeah, because it's actually in the uh, input chain right here. Whoops, in the input chain right here. So I have to specify the chain. So inputs. I hit enter. Now if I actually print the content again, as you can see, uh, it's totally empty. And the same case should be for the uh, mango one. So mango, it's also empty. So this is actually kind of the um, the default uh, IP table settings. So let's actually try to do something with it. So uh, let's actually start. Uh, I'm just gonna try ping this machine right here. So this is actually the uh, IP address of the uh, server right here. So I'm just gonna ping it. And as you can see, the ping right here is working. Uh, let's now to try to block this uh, host machine from pinging my machine. So I just I don't want any uh, machine to ping me. Okay, so for this I'm going to be using IP tables and I'm going to be adding a new rule to the filter table right here and it should be added to the input chain because this is an incoming request and uh, right here you have to actually specify 
or whether where, where you're going to add it so you can actually specify i to insert or a for append the difference is that uh, the chain has a set of rules okay and when you insert you put your rule at the top or, and when you append you put it at the bottom and by default when the a specific rule matches the incoming packet from the top because it actually goes from top to the bottom right so if one packet or uh, one rule matches this uh, incoming or outcoming packet uh, it does not consider the rest okay so does not consider the rest rules I mean so I'm just gonna insert it to the top so that it always uh, gets checked so I'm just gonna um, continue now so this is actually the table right here and now I'm specifying the chain now it's time to choose the protocol that I want to uh, apply the rule to so in our case it's IM, uh, ICMP because this is the uh, protocol used with ping and the second thing I want to specify the type because ICMP is just a protocol and it has more than one type so I here have to specify ICMP type and it's going the type is called the type used for uh, pinging is called echo request and now uh, all this was just the as you can say it's just the oops this is just the uh, filter right here and the J flag uh, after the J flag we specify the target so what should we do with this packet okay once all these uh, changes meets so I'm actually gonna reject it so if I receive this packet I'm just gonna reject it you can also drop it I'm just gonna show you the difference so let's just start with eject and as you can see uh, ICMP type I got an error right here yeah because it should be ICMP yeah now let's hit enter things works if I now go print the IP tables uh, table filter as you can see I have a new rule added right here so if I open the terminal and try to ping this server again actually I get an error so uh, I got an error right here because I use reject so if I change reject to drop and try to ping it again uh, as you can see this time it's actually hanging because uh, it returned an error the previous time because the server handled the request and it returns an error this time the server actually dropped it as if it actually didn't receive it so actually my machine right here is just waiting for the packet to uh, return and this time it actually didn't return any errors but it actually just uh, timed out okay so uh, now I'm gonna do the same but from the other machine so if I actually try to ping this one so 192.168.0.105 uh, so this is actually the IP address for my machine right here so if I try to ping it as you can see it's also uh, as you can see uh, uh, in this case it's actually working because um, I'm actually just only dropping them so let's actually uh, change the rules right now and just uh, reject all of these rules right here so uh, in this case we need to change the uh, add a new rule in the output command so if I run IP tables the same thing which is going to be uh, the filter table right here and the I'm going to append a new rule to the output uh, the output is the request coming out from our machine and here it should be uh, I'm just going to do the same thing so for protocol is going to ICMP and the ICMP type should be uh, it should be echo request and I want to actually reject it so reject now hit enter now just make to make sure that the rule has been added you can run the uh, table uh, list command and as you can see a new one has been added now let's try to ping the uh, server again so when I include it one dot one six eight the zero dot one of five and just limit it to one as you can see our uh, destination is actually not reachable and I got an error right here right so this actually uh, an example using the ICMP so uh, before I actually proceed let me just quickly remove these uh, rules that I've just added so uh, actually we did it to move the D but I have to specify the <coughs> there are a lot of actually uh, filters in this one so uh, output output And I have to just specify the number, which is one. And in the input, we actually had um, two uh, two rules we added. So I'm just gonna drop the second one. I'm gonna drop the first one. So yeah, uh, actually, if you don't know the numbers, so you can actually the number of the rules. I mean, so we can actually just print them right here and add the line number flag right here. And such, okay, I just deleted all the rules, so you can we don't actually see the number. But okay, I'll show it uh, in another one. 
So uh, one cool thing right now is that I uh, remember this Apache server right here. I want to actually block access to it. So if I actually try to reload the page, as you can see, it's actually reloading. Everything is working right. So now let's actually try to block access to it. So I'm going to be using the same command. So IP tables, the table is going to be uh, filter. And this one is going to be out. I'm going to insert a new command into the input because it's an incoming request. So input. And I'm gonna specify the protocol. So Apache actually uses TCP. So I'm just gonna specify the TCP. And I'm not gonna also gonna specify the uh, port that's gonna be that's gonna actually have the request. So actually Apache uses the port 80. So um, yeah, that's it. And now I just have to choose what to do with this one. So I'm just gonna drop it. So that's all. Now let's hit enter. Try to reload the page. And as you can see now, it's just hanging. It's just it's not loading. So like 192.168, as you can see, it's just not opening, right? So if we change this rule back to accept, you can see the page has loaded right away, you right? And one actually uh, dangerous thing that you might do is that just blocking all the TCP protocols right here. So if I just drop this one, uh, this can actually cause problems uh, because I'm actually using SSH. So if I run this command, I should actually get kicked out from the terminal. So as you can see, I'm just hitting enter. Nothing is happening. And I actually just, my terminal got frozen. So if I actually try to, let me just get this bigger. So SSH and type the 192.168. Well, actually, let's just use this one. And as you can see, nothing is happening. I just, as if I, I can't access the machine. So this actually can be dangerous if you're using a remote server and you just ran this command you actually lost totally connection to the machine. So for this one, I'm just gonna be going right here and I'm actually gonna just run the uh, list command to show the uh, current uh, permissions. So actually the one I ran was the last one. So let's actually drop it. It's actually a good practice now to show you the, uh, the let's actually use IP tables and this line number. As you can see, it's the first one. So let's actually remove it. So IP tables table filter and I want to delete from the input uh, it's the input one right yeah and I want to delete the first one now hit enter come back right here just close this one also close this one because it's also hanging and let's actually close uh, open a new one right here so SSH it's now asking for the password and yeah I'm back in so this is actually uh, one dangerous thing that you uh, might do and actually get, uh, like kick yourself out of, of the uh, terminal, okay? So uh, the next thing we're gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be uh, filtering a packet, no, not actually filtering, but manipulating values in a specific packet. So for this, we need the uh, mangle, okay? Uh, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be changing the uh, TTL value, which stands for uh, the um, the low, uh, time, uh, the time live, I mean, uh, the time live of our packet. So actually, so let's start by just printing the content of the uh, mongol table yeah that's why actually I was using root all the time so that it doesn't work like this ah it's actually just not called mongo um, I actually forgot what's name like mango yeah it's actually mango not mongo so yeah uh, now we see the tables that this uh, mongo uh, IP table has so the one we're going to be using is post routing so I'm going to be changing the as I said the TTL value and to actually show the default one I'm just going to really, I'm going to run the TCP dump command and I'm going to uh, choose the uh, the number of packets to print to five just to not print everything and also I want to print this in verbose mode and also add the uh, IP address so I want to also see the IP address of the uh, incoming or outcoming requests Okay, so now let's hit enter. As you can see, everything just needs sudo, so let's just get back to the root user. And now this TCP dump. Uh, I want to dump yeah, V, the IP address, and um, add like count five. So yeah, that's enough. And now as you can see, if you look at the TTL value by default, it's actually 64. So if you want to change it, uh, the mongol table can help with this. So I'm going to be using it again. So IP tables, the, the table this time is mango. And I want to actually add and insert a new row. This time the table is called post routing. 
and I want to actually um, uh, target the TTL value right here and I want to set the TTL value to 100 let's say so now let's hit enter and yeah it's not actually set TTL but TTL set so TTL set right here now hit enter now let's actually run the TCP uh, dump command again and as you can see now the TTL value has changed to 100 so we have actually like uh, manipulated the values in the requests so uh, if I actually <clears throat> just come right here and show you the uh, header of the IP header format so actually I've changed the value which is the time to live right here uh, in the header so that's actually an example of the uh, IP table uh, Mongo and what we can do with it so yeah that's all for this video guys thank you for watching and see you on the next one